Farmers for consistency. That's very important in our business where um, farmers all professionals who are actually um, uh, very uh, very focused on values, but at the same time they are also very professional. Um, we want to keep innovating, so we want to create before others do. If we have all those four right, we'll actually achieve the rock stuff. The HR strategic focus plan, the theme of the year is to improve efficiency and effectiveness in HR. Finance-wise, we want to optimize cost. Uh, customers and stakeholders is improving employee experience. We're actually in the process of creating an employee journey, mm. uh, which is culture creation program. Internal processes, like say, we want to keep it simple. And learning and development, we want to align talents. Right now, we are looking at which pharmacies should be so and uh, whether they are suitable as a retail pharmacist or a corporate community pharmacist and then we are realigning them and also to provide uh, almost um, 7 days a week pharmacy care to stores. Um, our financial voice, we wanted to do uh, the first objective is to reduce town hall costs. We used to have four town hall a year so um, we reduced it to one so there's a drastic reduction there in terms of cost. Um, we also wanted to increase online communication because town hall has reduced. We use workplace. Workplace is our official communication tool, not WhatsApp. So through workplace, right, we actually keep in touch with each other, and the cost is almost zero. So pharmacists who are outstation don't actually have to spend to come. And the 24 hours, the way we monitor workplace actually gives us a, gives us a report, so we know the how active each members are. Mm. Second financial ones, um, as part of the bigger picture, we want to introduce corporate clients to DIGAS. So what um, our role is when we attend HR conferences or even from our own network, and uh, Lawrence has been helping us with that as well, is to introduce um, HR cl I mean clients to uh, corporate sales department. So my target was two for this year. Um, one has already been done, so one more is in progress, so we will achieve that. For the customer's part, culture creation is a big picture um, for this year's, this year and next year's project. So we've developed a vision mission for the staff. We'll be communicating this by the end of this year. Uh, and also my initiative is to utilize workplace. Uh, second objective would be flex benefits. The launch date was supposed to be in December, but we're already doing it um, for Jaya Pharmacy, uh, effective October. For Jaya Pharmacy Retail, we're doing next year January onwards. And project lead for that is Akma. We are also planning to launch to all the HQ staffs staggered work hours. Right now, we only open it to managerial level, and uh, the target date is January. We want to use staggered work hours for retail pharmacists. That is a bit different because um, every retail store um, have got different hours and also uh, different peak periods. So we allow the pharmacists to actually decide when is a big period, when is not big, and they submit a schedule to us. We aim for three. Right now we have six who've actually taken up. So they go in the morning and then um, leave in the afternoon and come back again at night. And that has increased our sales of mm -hmm. Uh Objective five is uh, staff engagement activities. Our plan was four for this year. Right now we've completed the fifth one. Internal process, um, we wanted to have for recruitment, our current average day is 60 days um, mm. for recruiting a retail assistant or a supervisor. Um, we aim to do um, 50 for this year and maybe 40 for next year. And the project lead for that is uh, Akma as well. Higa's Culture Manifesto, um, that one, our launch date is March 2020. So we are actually documenting something like how Netflix has so we want to document all our positive stories from our employers, customers, and so on, and uh, create a whole culture manifesto that will go hand in hand with uh, the, the handbook, the Jaya handbook, and also with the customer. For learning, we want to align talents. So one of our requirement, requirement for all the pharmacists is to have CPD hours every year, otherwise they can't practice. Mm. So we want to have at least minimum 21 hours for all 15 of them. 
Of course, gold is a bit realistic, um, considering there might be staff who are leaving. So it's about 16.8 hours. And this one, we actually run internal CPD programs for them to help achieve the programs as well, the number of hours. The plan for 2020 would be power to the people, mainly as a result of our culture creation program that's happening right now. For finance, we want to reduce long-term medication for ourselves, that means for TIGAS, by 15%, reduce manpower costs to 20%, and reduce hiring costs to 10%. Um, that's because we're going to implement employee referral uh, program. Uh, customers part, we want to increase employee engagement activity from 4 to 6. For this year, we've asked for extra budget for next year, sorry. Mm. Um, so hopefully we can do a bit of a riot on luck and so on. <laughs> Weekly huddle, this is something that we've already implemented for head office staff. So every week, Monday, we actually gather and we share our hurdles and so on. And um, on, on whether we need any assistance from other departments to overcome. And um, this weekly huddle for all staff, meaning at store level as well. So it's something that we're trying to get them to practice. We want to create an honesty corner, which we'll be calling pick and munch for HQ staff. So we'll actually have like a, a box there coin box or something, right. um, where staff can actually take um, any of the snack items we provided and then put the uh, what you call a coin or dollar inside. And uh, we won't actually monitor until the month end. In the process, we want to fully implement uh, e-leave and e-claim for Bajaya Pharmacy and Bajaya Retail. Improvised employee referral program. Right now, I actually have an employee referral program, but um, it's uh, the payment wise is not high, but what we're going to do is at the first stage we're going to follow groups level to increase the uh, reference referral payment. Capability wise, we want to implement a development program for PRP. PRP stands for provisionally registered pharmacists. These are fresh grads who are actually not registered pharmacists yet, so they can't dispense medication. But um, we want to develop them. So some of them 